June 1967, journalist Penny Valentine, who used to review the new singles every week for Disc Magazine, was on holiday. So she got her good friend Ray Davies to review the new singles that week. This is what Ray had to say about the week's new releases. Life what it's cracked up to be Give the sorrows their due, they stick to their guns and always do what they want to do. This is a good rocking number, and all rockers should buy it. It could grow on me I suppose. Don't know about the title though. It sounds very much like a black record to me, not pink purple and the rest. Here's another good American group, and here's a superb introduction with great guitar sounds. There are also a couple of very good breaks in the middle where the voices interchange. This group was like the Monkees at one time, and they had the same appeal. The trouble is, they're all about 50 years old. Still, I'd like it to be a hit because they get some good sounds. I think Monkey fans will buy it. I was surprised when Along Came Mary by this popular American group wasn't a hit here. This is very much a birthday present record and it could be classed in the same category as Warm Sounds. It doesn't strike me as much as Mary, but it will get plenty of plays and could well be a hit. However, if there's a fight for the charts, the association will lose. I can tell by the introduction that this is a Kenny Lynch song, typical Lynch violins. And the drums are definitely Mort Schumann. The melody is very strong, and this should be quite a big hit. I specially liked the chorus, very good. And there's a nice touch of purple haze at the end. This hits me good. There are lots of nice sounds coming from everywhere, which can't be bad. I would have liked to see a little more fire in the backing as the song builds up though. But if every disc jockey says that this is a number one, it must enter the chart. Apart from Scylla, this is the best record I've heard this week. Didn't they record I Can Hear the Bells Blow? I can't say what I really think about Georgie, or I'd be strung up on the nearest lamppost within a week. However, I think he's reached the stage of being able to sell an EP as a single. Of the four tracks here, I like John Sebastian's song best. Glory, this is almost as long as their LP and I don't like it. 59th Street Bridge was hard to follow, and I don't think this was the right number to choose. They sound like a fat group of singers who never play football. The little church has gone, and there's no one praying. I think that Jerry's chances of solo success are very good indeed. But I'm not so sure of this record. The intro is very good but the melody takes a little too long to really get going. However, he will surely receive a lot of exposure, and this will probably put the record into the chart. We'll just have to see. Somebody ought to tell the toys that Lover's Concerto was two years ago, and that the British public are not often fooled more than once. This is just the same and really, I wonder why they bothered. Listening to this, I now begin to know why there are so many broken homes in America. You know that I'll always be loving you. Now this is funny. Here's Billy, once hailed as Britain's answer to Elvis Presley, with an old Elvis song. Honestly, it gives me the pip. It grows on me though, like a growth. Seriously, I hear Billy is a very honest bloke, and I've always admired him, a little. Forget this record though. This is a nice little ballad about photographs and that's pretty much all I can say about it. It didn't leave much impression on me. I wouldn't want Penny Valentine's job if you paid me. I always said she was a great reviewer, even when she didn't like our records. I wonder what Penny would have thought of this one. 